Right guys, welcome to the 15th episode of the Phoenix Studios live show. Uh, yeah, lovely sunny Wednesday here in the UK. Hope you guys are all doing good. Got a few little items to get through for the news and stuff, nothing major. Uh, yeah, looking forward to the show, looking forward to continue working on this album art I've been starting on since Monday. And yeah, happy Wednesday. Rock on. I see Johannes is in the chat room. Hello, sir. Happy metal horns to you. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, man. Uh, so yeah, so I was saying, you know, going to do a bit more on this album art. Uh, this is our main show of the week. Uh, so I'm going to do a bit of a raw as well, a little bit later on in the show. So let's get straight to our lineup for today. So yeah, so as I was saying, uh, do a bit of flash in terms of the news and stuff. We're going to have a couple of riff requests in there. I see a couple of requests already, which is really cool. Thanks, guys. Um, and going to do uh, a Raw, as I was saying later on, where I'm going to go through some work. And hey, hopefully, we'll have a bit of time to fit in some Rock Who along the way as well. Uh, I'm calling it kind of second stage in terms of the Rock Who stuff because I know um, it's not a main section. It's more of a subsection. So I figured I'd kind of make like the main stage is all the, like the regular stuff that we usually have. And then the second stage is kind of the uh, little sort of mini sections and stuff. Yeah, so that's something I've kind of added in. But to start off, as, as we always do, let's get into our new section, which of course is Flash. So uh, the first little item is that we've now got um, 10 episodes on the back catalogue on YouTube. So, um, oh, hey, Elena. Thanks very much for joining. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, there's now 10 episodes on YouTube. I have kind of been a bit slack on this, if I'm honest with you. And uh, yeah, so I've now started adding a few more. So we're up to about 10. I think there's 12 four, uh, to 14, I think, are online on Twitch. Uh, so I have to upload episode 11. But as always, you can, you can effectively go onto YouTube. Um, here's a little playlist. Uh, and I will literally just chuck the link in the chat very quickly. Same old. And there we go. You can watch the previous episodes there. And I think um, one of the big ones was probably episode 10 uh, in terms of we kind of looked at my, um, my uh, what's it called, process. This is weird kind of inception thing going on here, watching me on a stream while I'm... <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, number 10 where I kind of went through my... Um, uh, brush process to create lettering and stuff. So that's up there now. It had been deleted from Twitch. Damn those Twitch people. No, I mean, I love them really. <laughs> yeah, so um, so this episode kind of goes through it. So welcome to watch it back and stuff. And what I've tried to do is I try and kind of make a little, a little summary of each one because I don't expect you guys to kind of like trawl through the whole freaking episode or whatever. You can kind of like get a feel for what's in this in this episode. So if there's anything you want to look back on, you can just kind of go through it. What would be great is if I had it like, so like clickable. So you click on that section here on that link and it goes to that point in the video. I haven't worked out how to do that yet, but that's something kind of on my agenda. Anyway, so back to the news. Uh, let's click back. So yeah, so that's kind of like the main thing today is like the back catalog has been updated. We're up to 10 now. Um, we're going to play another little game of Rock Who today, which will be quite fun. I've got a few ideas for things to draw, so that's going to be fun. That'll be a bit later on today. Uh, we will have uh, another giveaway today, depending on how many people there are. We're still on sort of 37 uh, in terms of followers. I'm hoping to get to 40 next week at some point, uh, but well, we'll see how we go, eh? So, um, so yeah, so if there's enough people in the chat, I'll do a little giveaway. Uh, we'll see how we go. I know a few people might be away off today, so no worries. Um, next stream will be Wednesday. There is no Monday show next week. I'll only do, be doing a main show next week. I'm away over the weekend, so I figured, like, rather than try and cobble together something for Monday uh, when I'll probably be very tired, I'd rather just do one on a Wednesday next week. So, yeah, so the next show will be on Wednesday next week. And this comes to our album of the week. Again, I love this section. I love doing this section. I love hearing your suggestions and stuff. It's awesome. 
really great to hear you guys sort of suggest a few things. And hey, keep suggesting them and I'll keep kind of adding them in. Uh, last week we did um, a suggestion from Frank, which was Monster Magnet. This week I thought I'd chuck in something of my own. Uh, and it's an artist designer who I've really kind of uh, been inspired by recently. I haven't really shared his work on the Discord yet, but yeah, I, I will share the link and stuff to his work. It is absolutely awesome. It's pretty damn killer. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, the album of the week is uh, Blind Guardian, Beyond the Red Mirror. Now, this is a really obscure album to the point where I'm, I'm pretty sure none of you probably know who Blind Guardian are. I think maybe I sent it over to uh, Reviver. Uh, Reviver Night the other day because it's kind of got a bit of a medieval metal theme to it and yeah so effectively what it is is kind of like medieval metal I suppose and it's all generally Lord of the Rings themed which is kind of cool and this guy is a guy called Philippe Machado I'm not sure if I'm re pronouncing that this right but he he created this album cover for them and he's like a massive heavy metal fan so um, so I recommend you check out Blind Guardian. There's two tracks in particular. They're not on this album, but two tracks is uh, The Bard's Song and Lord of the Rings. It's like a self-titled Lord of the Rings thing, and it's it's pretty epic, to be honest with you. Maybe we'll play a bit on the stream at some point. And yeah, this guy, Philip Machado, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce his name, has some absolutely awesome works. I'll just switch over now to the website. So that's the uh, the main album cover there that he's done. This is kind of some of the inside work, I suppose you could say. Um, some of the inner work, I think, from that album. This is like, I think this is a single cover. I'm not too sure if it's like a self-titled album. And this is like the single cover. Yeah, I mean, generally his stuff is very, very kind of concept arty, I would say. So it's kind of like, it's quite detailed, but it's kind of painty, kind of concept looking. I'm not quite sure how he does it. There's no sort of process as to how he creates these things, but it's just really inspiring. Oh, we've got a new follower. I don't know who that was, but we have a new follower. That's awesome. So we'll actually be up to 38. Awesome. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of kind of concept art in here, and it's super inspiring. It's mostly band artwork. Uh, like I say, very painterly. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. It's like a like an eagle or something flying through some sort of spacey kind of thing. I'm not quite sure what you would call it. Um, yeah, just super inspiring stuff. So he creates a lot of album covers. And I suppose in some ways this is kind of sort of some of the work that I would aspire to do one day. It's kind of this kind of level of level of work. It's just absolutely awesome. Look at that. So this is a different band he does work for called Rage. I don't know who these guys are. I've never heard of them before. Uh, and generally kind of a lot of it more obscure bands, I think. Brainstorm, I've never heard of them before. Um, look at that, it's freaking awesome. It's like a big skull with like cards underneath it. Crazy. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah, just awesome artwork in general. I think he's kind of a digital painter. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he's digital, but I'm not quite sure if it's like, whether he does it all on, on a on sort of a computer or does he do it on a canvas does he sketch it on paper first there's no real process videos or anything here this is another another band iron savior which looks pretty cool vandora uh pff, lords of black <laughs> it's just freaking awesome like the amount of the amount of cool stuff this guy has done i mean it's pretty mind-blowing to be honest with you ah uh, yeah it could be fr 3d rendering i'm not sure lena what I will do is I'll chuck in the link on the chat so you guys can kind of check him out. Uh, I'll check, there we go. There's the link. I'll put it on the Discord a bit later on Inspiration. Um, I mean, it's a freaking awesome portfolio. It doesn't stop. Here he is, here's the guy. So, um, so let's see, let me just zoom in and see if we can see this a bit better. All right, a bit further down, there he is. So this guy was born in Colombia, uh, Bogota, Colombia. He's listened to Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Motorhead, Van Halen, Def Leppard, thanks to his older brothers. Uh, that's where he got into it. Um, started doing cover artworks for local bands. 2004, started working as freelance illustrator for Lucas Films and kept going. Uh, uh, he got to work with record companies, which is freaking awesome. Had the honor to work with some of my favorite bands like Blind Guardian. 
Rage, Ice to Earth, Iron Saviour, Yawn, Rhapsody, Persuader, Savage Circus, and many more. There you go. First cover in 2006. Wow, man. That's <laughs> like 10 years ago. Lately, I've been getting into concept art for video games and movies, and when I have time to take classes at the Concept Design Academy in Pasadena, California. So there you go, guys. I mean, this guy is freaking... Freaking awesome, um, some amazing body of work, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I think this is like an email and stuff. There's not a whole lot on his website, it's just generally the art, you know. I mean, he doesn't really need to say much more, the art kind of speaks for itself. It's freaking awesome. So there we go, guys. So that's um, the album of the week, and I've enjoyed kind of sharing with you a bit of Philippe Mercado's work. Like I say, check him out. He's freaking awesome. All right, so with that, um, we've done Flash. So we'll get into uh, the headliner now. We'll do a bit more of this album cover. Uh, let me just make sure that my iPad is working. Let's minimize everything. Uh, let me just make sure I've got my headphones and stuff set up so you guys can request some songs. And what I might do is I might actually put a bit of Blind Guardian on now so you guys can listen to it. Uh, let's see, sound, uh, multi-output device, that's the one I want. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll move the Discord down here. We'll put up uh, quick time. There we go. And let's go back now. And let's switch over to the iPad. There we go. So, um, yeah, so... On Monday, it feels like ages ago for some reason, we started working kind of on refining this. And I've done a little bit more detail on his, um, on kind of like his chest area. I was trying to kind of get some, uh, what's it called? Just some details in terms of like creases and stuff. Um, I've just realized I actually don't know where my Apple Pencil is. So that is that is a bit of a thing. Because <laughs> I won't be able to get much further. If I don't know where it is, bear with me. <laughs> is ah, left it in the case <laughs> rookie error so yeah well i hope you guys are doing well on this lovely wednesday afternoon it's beautifully sunny over here uh been out in the garden and stuff so yeah i hope you guys are doing well so what i think we'll do is we'll get spotify loaded up and uh, let's get all our stuff loaded let me put that there and that there Hopefully this will work. As always, guys, you can request some tunes uh, and listen to them on the Discord. No worries. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, to the Bard song. Hopefully that works. I need to open Nightbot, my bad. Why is Nightbot kind of logged out? Interesting. Uh, bear with me guys, sorry. Nightbot logged out, so I'm just logging back in. I'm hoping to get this going. Does that work? Nope, it's not working so far. Probably have to quit Spotify and start again. Ugh, God. Right. It's so weird the way sometimes Nightbot, it kind of, it works, but it doesn't work. <laughs> it's, it pretends to work, but it doesn't. So let's open this up. So Spotify is loaded. Okay. Go on to Auto DJ. Uh, request it again because it doesn't work. Press play. Okay, well, Spotify is not working. I do not know why. I don't know why, that's really strange. Come on, Spotify, what are you doing? Ah, it's just not playing, what on earth? Yeah, it's just not having it, how bizarre. Ugh. 
Oh, you know what? We'll just leave it for now. <clears throat> I'll just carry on. That's so weird. Sometimes it just doesn't want to work, and sometimes it does. It's freaking night rot. Okay. Try and open it again. It's just difficult to work to uh, stuff without having music on. It's like I'm really quite used to it now, just having music and listening to stuff. Song requests. Right. Spotify, open again. Oh, I know why. I think Spotify needs to be open from the start. That's that's my mistake. I remember that. My bad, guys. Spotify needs to be open from the start. There we go. Oh, God. Rookie error. And now I'll just chuck it on the Discord. Add that in. There we go. That's working. Okay, let's get into this then. So I think what I'm going to do first is going to try and add some more of these folds in. And I do want to try and start inking him because I feel like I'm in a position where I could probably start inking him and getting, getting a bit better at that. That's the wrong brush. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I had like a massive rant on the chat last night. I feel a bit better now, but yeah, I think uh, some days I just get really frustrated when I see things like that, and I shouldn't really get frustrated at other artists' success and stuff. It's really kind of, it's a bit juvenile, and I need to kind of just accept it is what it is. Um, but it does irk me. <laughs> it irks me that people can kind of get away with making stuff that's really basic. In my eyes, anyway, it's really basic and yet have massive amounts of fame. But hey, I guess I can't really judge. It's just one of those things. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to swing these folds. I think it's going to be a tricky one. So anyway, yeah, this song is kind of um, it's very Lord of the Ringsy kind of style. But I really, uh, I really like it. It's quite, it's quite peaceful, and uh, yeah, it's just awesome. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call this guy. Some sort of giant or something. Some kind of giant guy. <laughs> Some kind of giant guy. Maybe I'll call him that. <laughs> Trying to work out, like... I don't know how to do these creases around his chest. It's kind of, like, quite tricky. Quite tricky. Because I'm not quite sure... How it would land. I know a lot of the guys are probably off today. Off conference, I think, starts tomorrow. Um, a giant, Senor Gross. <laughs> yeah, maybe his name is Senor Gross. Okay. <laughs> that could be right. Lord of the Rings next. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. I may have played this one before, actually. I can't remember. Yeah, and I would love to see this band live. I actually had the opportunity to see this band, um, Blind Guardian, because a few of our friends went to see them. But uh, I couldn't get a ticket in time. Um, so, so my mate, like, I think he uh, sort of live streamed a couple of songs for me from the gig, which was really cool of him. Uh, he sent me a video after, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, I love it. People do that. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. 
if there even should be a fold there, I don't know. Still kind of trying to work it out. It's a tricky one. Hey, Reviver, how you going, man? How's it, how you doing? Listening to some Blind Guardian, which I sent you the other week. Because I went through... Um, I went through uh, album of the week, and the al one of the the album artist was um, a guy who's worked with Blind Guardian and a few other metal bands, and his his stuff's pretty killer. I pasted the link uh, earlier, and what I'll do is I'll chuck it in the Discord later. Uh, yeah, it's pretty killer to be honest. And yeah, on Monday I've been working. I've been kind of working on this night kind of horn guy for this. Um, this uh, metal band that I'm trying to reach out to, this power metal band. So I started this on the weekend. And I'm now trying to get sort of the final details in before I uh, get onto the inking part of it. It's a bit of a process upgrade for me because I'm not, not used to putting in this much detail um, at this kind of stage. Usually I wait till I'm on the coloring. So it is a bit of a process upgrade, which is cool. Yeah, are you streaming a bit later? I don't know if if you're regularly streaming on a on a Wednesday as well. If you are, I'll try and pop in uh, after dinner or something. Be good good to see what you're up to in terms of your uh, board game project, man. Like, to catch up a bit on Monday stream, it's looking good. Yeah, a bit different to your usual stuff. Yeah, it's uh, it's I'm trying to. I guess I'm trying to kind of like get it looking power metally, if that's a, if that's a, a word. <laughs> like I went through like a load of power metal albums and kind of like just to try and see the kind of tone that they have usually, um, and it's quite sort of epic, painty kind of looking stuff, and sometimes a bit comicy. So I'm trying to trying to up my game in terms of my detail because a lot of the time my detail is just a bit of an afterthought. So I'm trying to be patient and like work on my detail. Right. Okay. Let's pause that. Alright. I'll put my social back on. Feel free to request something, guys, if you like. Um yeah. Spotify's open if you need to request anything. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, this stuff takes ages. Yeah, you're not freaking kidding, man. Yep, <laughs> takes ages, but hey, we we love doing it. So that's the that's the main thing, eh? That's the main thing. I don't even know if he's gonna. Maybe I'll just erase that bit. Maybe his. Just trying to get. Yeah, like I say, what I want to do is get onto the inking today. At least because it, because I feel like his arms are in a, in a decent enough place and I can probably do his arms. And then I'll, I'll, I might finish his torso another time because uh, I don't want to bore you guys just doing trying to do shading on this torso because it might not be working out that well. I don't know. It's kind of okay. But yeah, I mean, I'll try and catch your stream a bit later, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're up to. Your uh, board game uh, will be pretty awesome, I think, when you finished it up. I wonder how many uh, cards you're doing. If you're doing like a few, few different types of cards. Let me just get that a bit better. Have a crease in there, maybe. It's hard to know where the shadows are going to be on this. It's a tricky one. I was going to give him some armor to start with, and then I thought, well, actually, I would rather give him some sort of shirt or something. I don't know. Because armor can be a right pain in the ass to kind of color and stuff. Eight cards so far. I'm going to try and finish the skeleton tonight. Oh, yeah, man. Did you end up settling for a name on him? Or did you, uh, did you kind of like, 
Are you going to do like a poll for a name, or are you kind of have, we, have you come to a decision on the name? Or I wonder what you're going to do because we, there was a couple of good suggestions. I think a couple of people suggested a few things. <sighs> I don't know. This isn't. It's been really tricky. This little area. I'm not quite sure how to swing it. If there should be like a thing there or not. I don't know. I'm going to stay as Reaper Knight. Yeah, I like that one, man. That's pretty freaking cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything called Reaper Knight so far. Not to my knowledge in sort of pop culture anyway. I don't, I don't think... I don't think that's a thing yet. So, hey... Get your trademark in. <laughs> if you're planning on selling it and stuff anyway, yeah, definitely, yeah. You're going to look into trademarking stuff, actually. That's a, that's a good point. Because um, what you don't want to happen is to have a massive success and then, I don't know, some other board game company comes in and pulls the rug from under you. Maybe you don't want to go to that level of detail. That's cool. Add some details in as I was looking. Mm. Yeah. I think the torso is going to take me some time to kind of get right because I've been feeling sort of playing about with it a little bit here and there, and I still still wasn't happy with it earlier. So yeah, but it's a massive headache, especially worldwide. Oh man, you ain't kidding. The trademark thing—it's like. You need to be seriously, like, you need to get a lawyer for it. And that's where I went wrong, is I kind of didn't get a lawyer for mine. And that was just a low, that was just a UK one. And I wish I had because it just would have saved a lot of, a lot of headaches and sleepless nights, you know. Um, it's got a bit more of a thin layer. Yeah, it's just, it's tricky because it's great to put out a product and kind of like, but you just really do need to, to back yourself up just in case. It can easily all go downhill in creating these things. Just trying to get some folds in there. I'm usually quite good at folds, but this is kind of... It's not looking too bad, I suppose. I think it's because it's all shading and stuff, and I'm kind of not used to... Trying to block in shadows at this stage. Usually I do it at the colouring stage, which is probably the wrong time to do it. <laughs> hmm. I feel like that should be there. It's a bit blur. That's getting there, slowly but surely. Maybe that's like that. That's a bit better. Right, now we're getting somewhere. And the iPad decides to fall over. Ooh, 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 whoops. As I explained on the last stream, I'm using my Cintiq stand on, for my for my iPad, and of course, it's like the wrong size. <laughs> I don't have a proper case for my iPad. That's probably something I should invest in because it keeps falling over now. Yeah. Anyway, man, like, I'm really looking forward to seeing where you go with it. Like, are you going to do, like, um, what's it called, like, uh, extended goals or whatever, if you kind of get funded? You do, like, an extended goal. Maybe you get, like, I don't know, some sort of model of the character or something. Like, that would be cool, like a vinyl toy or something. They're pretty expensive to make, actually, so possibly not, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I looked into vinyl toys actually ages ago and it's just like you need so much money up front to like make 10 of them or something which is a shame but yeah I guess it is what it is so I wonder how all the guys are doing it off and stuff I know that Seeker's gone to off I know he's on his plane probably by now uh, so I wonder how he's doing oh, freaking hell. this freaking thing come on stay up Work with me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I do wonder if James is gonna pull off a killer show. I'm sure he will. I did see his first Hustle Mania talk, and I wonder if like this one's gonna be completely different, or is it gonna be some sort of like wrestling proper wrestling match in the middle of it? Who knows? Yeah, I've been looking into those two. I want small ones in the game, then bigger ones for extra goals. Oh, cool. Nice, man. Uh, I mean, out of interest, did you have a look at prices and stuff? I know, like, if you go and send them to China, it's freaking expensive. Uh, I think it's, like, a 1,000 or something quid or something like that, minimum. 500, I can't remember, something like that, I think I found. And it's a lot of, a lot of money to put into it. But I suppose if you get funded, then you at least know the money's guaranteed, right? And then you can just kind of get it get it made. So fingers crossed for you. What I'm going to do is I think I'll actually remove that energy blast a little bit and make it a bit... It's a bit too big, this energy blast on this side. There we go. And then I'm going to just draw in that and then I can make a bit more of a shadow there. There we go, you can see a bit more of this shirt then. It's a bit better. We at Hustle in Bristol. I was man, I went to Hustle in Bristol. Uh, met up with a design friend of mine that I met at Meet Conference. We both met up in Bristol. Uh, had a freaking awesome day. Um, James, bless him. I think he did a. He got. I got a photo with him. Oh, you were there as well, man. Oh, that's cool. I did, uh, well, there you go. You see, there you go. Uh, and hey, why don't I? Let me see. Quickly see if I can pull up my photo open my browser a minute I want to see if I can find yeah it is a small world man I want to see if I can find the silly photo I took with James because it's just so silly I should post it sometime actually um, Google photos right I want to log in come on Google let me log in oh I should say actually this is a bit of a this is and access all areas, because I'm going to do something a bit outside the norm. So this is our access all areas for today. Try and find this photo. I think I took some video footage as well of Hustle Mania. Um, do you know what? Let me switch back. Let me, uh, let me just minimize this a second. Uh, just so it's out of the way. And what we're going to do is I'm literally just going to sign into my Gmail account very quickly. Try and work out if I can find find these photos. Oh, password was changed eight months ago. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to remember what day it was. Was it June last year? I can't remember. Um, let me type Bristol, and then Bristol will probably come up. I love good. I really love Google Photos because I can literally. Ah, here we go. This is the one. Oh, did I take a picture with it? I'm sure I took a picture with it. Let's just see if I can expand the whole thing. There we go, I found it. <laughs> uh, hold on, wrong camera. Let's see. Here we go. So this was my, um, these are my photos from the event. Uh, I think that's all of them. There we go, yeah, that's the one. So you can see my ugly mug, my very ugly mug with James there. <laughs> oh man, I literally grabbed him right at the end. And I think he was in a real rush. And I was like, right, I put my metal face on. <laughs> so yeah, I literally kind of, he was, he was in a real rush. Uh, and I was like, right, have you got five minutes for a selfie? I'm like, I bet you don't remember me and stuff. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember you and stuff. You were at a meet conference, I think. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. So at least he, he kind of remembered and stuff. So bless him. He must meet so many people 
Um, yeah, I'm sure he makes so many people that he's like, uh, it's all a bit of a blur. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's so cool that you were there. I mean, I took, there were some awesome uh, slides actually on Gav's talk, um, like this kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, it's super inspiring. Super, super inspiring. Um, the, uh, the talk itself. And it was, you know what? It was an absolute bargain. I think it was it like about 15 quid or something for the talk. It was really, really, uh, you know, super inspiring. Oh yeah, this was when Gav was saying like, you can use emojis or was it signal noise? I can't remember. You can use emojis in your, in your, uh, uh PSDs, which I had no idea, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, um, it was a, I don't know if you know about this, Lena, but it was in a, like a 360 degree planetarium type, type thing. Uh, so you could see all the way around. And I'm glad, I'm glad I remembered, I remembered to show you this guys, because it, it's kind of, cause they're obviously doing new, the new hustle mania, um, off, uh, tomorrow, uh, or day after, I can't remember when it's really cool to actually kind of look through and see some of the, the work they presented a couple of years ago. But yeah, man, I mean, cool that you were there. Uh, it's crazy, isn't it? Like, I can't believe you were you were there and I was there. We didn't know each other uh, and we didn't know that we were gonna be streaming at some point or even like sort of know each other that way. It's really crazy. Oh, this was quite cool. At heart, they had this halftime banner and they kind of like drew on themselves, which was kind of fun. I think uh, there they are, Signal Noise and Gav. I didn't, I didn't really speak to Gav much. I would like to speak to him a bit more. Um, I think I only kind of briefly said hello. Uh, oh, here's another good quote. Be confident. I don't know where I'm going from here, but I promise it won't be boring. <laughs> That's a great quote. So yeah, guys. So yeah, this is me meeting James last year. I think it was last year in June. Uh, awesome guy. If you haven't met him yet, he's a freaking awesome guy. He's just like, just like what you see on a stream and stuff. He's such a cool guy. So yeah, horns up for James. So that was a little bit of uh, access all areas. Looking back on, um, looking back on last year's. I was two years ago. Freaking hell, man! I don't know where. I don't know where the time has gone. Um, actually, well, while we're on the subject, why why don't I bring up Meet Conference? Because uh, was it Edinburgh? I think it was Edinburgh. Or was it? No, it wasn't Edinburgh. That's actually my my girlfriend <laughs> playing a bit of guitar. <laughs> and this is a band we went to go and see in Edinburgh. It wasn't. It was Aberdeen. That's the one. I got confused. Uh, let's have a look. Aberdeen. Here we go. This is, this takes me back. So this was 2014, um, and I took freaking loads of loads of this was like this is way before way before i even considered doing my actual brand or anything like that I, all i was doing was like i think i'd literally just started doing the phoenix studios type stuff oh god here's me i look so young <laughs> such an awkward photo <laughs> i think because i didn't realize i'd be able to chat to him at the end or something and I was, I was like, oh, James can have a quick picture with you. I didn't realize, I thought, right, I've got to seize my moment and just take a picture of him. Um, and then this was me like proper stalking him. <laughs> so I'm a proper fanboy and I'd never met him before. So I was like, oh, I'll take a picture of my idol. <laughs> yeah, so um, so the meet was a, was an awesome, uh, awesome little conference. They had this cool little light, light show type thing, light, um, type thing I don't know what you would call it so that was kind of cool uh, I've got a bunch of videos from the con conference as well so this is like Cameron uh, introducing signal noise at the time it's like a little two minute video or whatever and I think I must have recorded pretty much the whole talk that he did uh, it was so good uh, hey proclaim I'm just kind of looking back on some pics right now um, from James's talk four years ago now uh, yeah, from 2014, seeing as he's doing his talk um, on Friday or on Thursday, I think. Uh, I'm just kind of looking back when I first met him, which was at Meet Conference. Uh, he spoke in Scotland. He was a super nice guy when I met him. And also, funnily enough, 
Reviver Knight went to uh, see his talk last year, uh, two years ago, and so did I. I went to the same talk, and we never met each other. Um, is that my family album you're hiding behind that window? It is. <laughs> so this is me meeting Draplin, and then James is in the background doing a little, <laughs> a little kind of uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, I've forgotten what you call them now. Ugh. Anyway, photo bombing. That's the one. Yeah, so he's photobombing in the background, which is really cool. That's me being squeezed by Draplin. <laughs> oh dear. Four years ago, yeah. And then there's James kind of looking cool in the background. <laughs> that was us looking tough. Um, first time I'd met James, he was such a freaking cool guy. And yeah, man, yeah. Uh, I would love to go and see his talk again. Uh, and this was like all the photo poop. <laughs> This is like all the stuff I grabbed from the conference, which was awesome. Yeah. So yeah, really cool to look back on these. It's so badass. Look at look at the. That was such a badass uh, patch he had on the back of his jacket. It was so awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love it. Uh, and I think this is actually where James met Naomi for the first time as well. The meet comp. Um, yeah, it was great. Great conference. Uh, and of course, you know, his drive poster. Freaking awesome. So that has been a little access all areas where I've kind of looked through old photos from the conferences I went to. I went to Meet Conf in 2014 and also Hustle Mania 20, uh, 2016, I think it was, two years after. Uh, and yeah, hoping to go to off next year. Hopefully he will um, be speaking there. Right, so let's uh, switch back to the iPad. Uh, put this back up. And let's make this bigger. There we go. So yeah, that was cool to share with you guys. Uh, I had completely forgotten about that. I'd completely forgotten that I'd been there. So yeah, cool to share it with you. That was great, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, and I need to go to more conferences now so I have more behind the scene pics. <laughs> and hey, maybe, um, I don't know. Would you? I don't know if you guys are interested in gig photos or anything like that. I'm not. I mean, obviously, it's not design related and stuff. But maybe, maybe I could share some gig photos or something. I don't know. Some other photo related thing that might be of interest. Anyways. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. It's cool to share things. Do 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 do. Right. I think I will. Probably, how long are we into? Oh, God, 50 minutes already. Jeez. Is it 50 minutes? Uh, 48 minutes. Yeah, so that's roughly about right. So what I will do, I'll give it a start on the inking. I'll at least try and start this off. So let me add a new sketch layer. Let me get this into black. Just start. Let me just start getting this looking in a little bit better but yeah he's um did you meet him actually reviver did you actually speak to him at uh at meet conf or at uh, me conf a hustle mania la a couple of years ago or did you not manage to speak to him i know a few people went up at the end i didn't kind of have much time to speak to him at the end because he was in a rush so we ended up just kind of like talking as he was leaving and then uh did I do? Yeah, I think after that I said, can I have a quick selfie? <laughs> yeah, awesome. What a legend. Legendary. Try and get these lines a bit smoother. Oops, not very smooth at all. And I think right now I'm not going to be as precious with my lines anymore. I'm going to try and go with the flow a bit more with my line look. Because I feel like a lot of the time it can be a bit too clean uh, for my liking and for the type of work. I spoke to Gav. Didn't get a chance to speak to James. Ah, oh, man. Was that the first time you'd actually seen him speak? Or had you seen him a previous time? Yeah, I mean, I, I would love to go and see him speak again. I, I would actually really like to see his new talk. I'm sure there's tons of new stuff. Yeah, first time. Cool, man. Yeah, whoops, there goes the iPad again. Oh, that's a shame you didn't get to speak to him. He's a super cool guy. Anyway, I'm sure you'll have more opportunities in the future. 
but yeah, it was cool. It was so cool that we went to the same, same little, not a conference, but the same little uh, speaking event. That's awesome, man. Try and get these lines looking a little bit better. What I'll do, guys, I'll, I'll do this for a couple of minutes. And then uh, I'll have a little break and then we'll do some guitar. Bit of riff requests or something similar. Whatever you guys want to listen to. I think there's a couple of requests today. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, I think there's a couple of them. I don't know if there's any more. Uh, let me just see. If you guys want to request anything. Feel free. Oh, actually, I just uh, you know what I did. Gone and disabled the. Uh, gone and disabled the what's it called? Uh, will it still work? Yes, it does. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So feel free. I'm going to do uh, some riff requests in a minute. So feel free to put some in. And I'm glad I've done all this detail because now it means that I can actually start getting the lines to look halfway decent. Yeah, I like um, I like doing these little behind the scenes segments because it feels less planned and is a bit more kind of off the cuff and a bit more, maybe a bit more interesting sometimes as well. Like it's cool to watch somebody do stuff, but when you have like the little behind the scenes segments, I think it can be pretty pretty cool. Maybe I'll try and get some more behind the scenes segments going. I'm not quite sure how. Um, like I've got a bunch of guitar guitar type stuff I could show you guys. I don't know if you'd be interested in that. I've got like loads of different pedals and stuff I used to use. I've got my amps. Don't know if you'd be particularly interested in any of that, but hey. Let me hide a couple of these shadows. There we go. That's what I want. Just want to see where the Outlines are to start with. Five two. Just finish up his shoulder and then we'll have a five minute break. Okay, so at least I've started the line work. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So he's kind of getting there. He's looking pretty badass. Uh need some more work on that shirt. But hey, it's getting coming together. Alright, so let me find my thing okay guys right so what i'll do now is i'll have to do a little five minute break usual interval stuff and then i'll come back and we'll play some rocking guitar so yeah i'll see you guys in about five minutes five minutes see ya <laughs>
All right, guys, we're back. Five minute interval, same old. I really do need to make a new interval video. That's something I actually have to put on my list, definitely. So what we're gonna do now uh, is we're gonna get into some riff. Rock on, so switch over. Yeah, so um, got a couple of requests today. Looking forward to playing them. I'm just gonna switch over now to our riff request screen. Um, yeah, so as before, the available songs, uh, these are the available songs I can play currently. I will add some more, I promise. <laughs> Something I've been slacking on a little bit. I haven't learned any new tunes yet, but I think I'll start learning some new ones. And hey, um, I'm gonna try and find a way for you guys to kind of like chuck your songs that you want me to actually play in there, because at the moment, it's only songs that I'm kind of learning. But hey, uh, I'll work out a way of doing it soon. So that's our available songs. Uh, you can request it by going to the link in the chat. So if we have a look at the riff requests for today, we have three requests now. We had two earlier, now we have three, awesome. So we've got a bit of Nirvana, Come As You Are, uh, a bit of Judas Priest from Not Lena. So it's definitely Not Lena who's requested that. <laughs> um, and we've also got ACDC, Back In Black from Reviver. Thanks man for the request. So I think we'll start off with a bit of uh, a bit of Nirvana. Uh, yep, I need to resize my uh, camera because that is gigantic, a gigantic uh, camera. There we go, resize. There we go. I think that's about about right. Yeah, that's probably about right. Nice one. And I probably need to move back up. Yeah, this is the thing because I'm running my iPad and the camera at the same time. I can't kind of test it in advance. So I need to try and need to try and work it out and see where the positioning is. That's probably about that's probably about right. Uh, right, let's turn the guitar on. Guitar is on. Uh, I will now put the song request stuff up. Uh, name. Okay. Ah, now I need to actually cue it up. So let's cue that one. It's in. Okay, that. There we go. So let me just make sure this is all good. I think we'll probably be all right. Just check it's the right tone. Yep. Sounds all right. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty damn good. Okay, so this is for uh, this is for Frank, who because he lives on the other side of the world, uh, unfortunately can't be with us. <laughs> uh, he's probably asleep by now. Bless him. So yeah, man, this is for Frank. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, even if you are uh, in the rerun club, Frank, um, thanks very much for watching, and you rock. So cheers, man. This is for you.
All right, so that was for Frank, a bit of Nirvana from As You Are. So thanks very much for the request, man. Awesome. Uh, let's get on to our next request, which is a bit of Judas Priest, I think, for Lena. Let's cue this up and let me switch to my flame, crazy flame thing going on. Let's open that up. Yep, that's queued up nicely. Awesome. Great. Okay, so uh, let me make sure I've got the right tone because that always helps. I'm going to play. That's the right tone, I think. Let me switch to there. Hope you guys enjoy this. This is a, this is a bit of a breaking the law for um, for uh, Lena. Well, not Lena. It says here, so I do wonder if it's Lena or if it's someone else. <laughs> Who knows? All right, here we go. That was a bit of Judas Priest breaking the law for not Lena. And hey, Scribbles of Lexus here. Hey, man. Thanks very much for tuning in. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I play a bit of guitar on my stream. Um, feel free to request a song. I'll just chuck the link back in the, in the thing again. So, yeah. Let me just type that in for you. So, basically, you can request a song. Uh, and uh, people have been requesting a few things for me to play. So, yeah. Uh, let me just switch back to the next song, which will be a bit of ACDC. I think we'll keep the flame, we'll keep the flame theme going, I think. So there we go, a bit of ACDC. After I'm about to play this now. <laughs> There's my ACDC tone, that's on. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, I have to remember how this goes now. That's how it goes. Then... It's alright, I haven't played it for a while. <laughs> I, have to, I have to relearn it very quickly. one okay all right better acdc for reviver nights this is for you man A bit of Back in Black. Love that tune. That riff will never get old. One of the best riffs ever. 
so yeah, so I'm just quickly looking through to see if we have any more requests today. I don't think we have any more so far. Maybe we'll have time to play a couple more later. So yeah, that was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Great. Let's get back now to our uh, lineup very quickly. Okay, is my mic still on? Yes, it is. Right, I need to mute the guitar because I don't want the guitar to be on. Actually, I'll go back to... Yeah, let's go with that. Let me just put the guitar away, guys. So that was our little riff section for today. The guitar's being thrown out the window, as usual. Hopefully the neighbors will bring it back to me. <laughs> yeah, so that was a bit of riff. Uh, a few riff requests there. I think what I'll do now to kind of mix things up a bit, I don't want to go straight back to the headliner. I think we'll do uh, a little raw now. And I'll just kind of start going through some of this older work. So if I, uh, give me a, a second to kind of just load up, literally just got to load up the right files and stuff. Uh, but what I'll do is while that's loading, I will talk over, I'll talk over the content. Because I actually had this content prepared. I think I must have had it prepared a while ago. Uh, but I just need to load up the right files. Let's see. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. I can talk about this now. Hopefully, this is the right thing. Yeah, there we go. So, um, I may have mentioned to you guys uh, a while ago that I've done, I did like a, a bunch of uh, different kind of genres. Um, I kind of tried to make every single genre of music that I could think of and try and put that into like the appropriate style it would be. Uh, it was a project called Love Music. Let me just load up the Behance project. Uh, B.net slash Phoenix Studios. That's the one. Let's switch over. Pink is punk. Yeah, man. Punk is pink. <laughs> yeah, so if I switch back over. Oh, Access All Areas is still up there. That's wrong. Let's turn that off. That was earlier. So let's turn off the iPad. Let's put Photoshop back up. There we go. So, um, so yeah, so this was this project, I think I've probably shown you guys in a previous stream. And I think I showed you guys metal, pop, uh, but today we're going to be looking at punk and uh, funk. Funnily enough, it rhymes. <laughs> so we're going to have a quick look at how I made those, those two individual files. So I'm going to quickly switch over to Photoshop now. So that file's loaded. Um, and really, this one has to be kind of one of the most simplest files. I didn't even do a sketch for this. So I'm just going to quickly open the vector, which will probably open Illustrator, which will take a little bit of time to open up. But um, the, the type itself, like, it didn't take me that long to do. Um, and the background, if I just hide that, you can see it's kind of like there's a bunch of paint splats, which I found. I think these are possibly my own or downloaded. I'm not quite sure. Um, but what I wanted was a kind of never mind Never mind the bollocks kind of feel to it, like, you know, the Sex Pistols, like I wanted that kind of thing. Um, and I think some of these layers, it's like a milk type of thing, like a milk texture or something. You can kind of see it there. And that's kind of what gives it that little highlight um, on the actual work itself. So let me just switch that back. So Illustrator is loading very slowly. <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. So there's like another another layer that I've hidden there. I'm not quite sure, not quite sure what that is. It doesn't even show up. Oh well, I don't need it anyway. Um, yeah, I mean it's a really simple, very very simplified. It's almost like a simplified version of my type before I started making it. Um, it it was like I hadn't I hadn't kind of got to the point where I was making sort of. I don't know. Uh, there we go. It's finally loaded. So it's kind of a very simplified version of my type type that I started doing, um, and it may have even kind of combined a couple of different typefaces, possibly because I hadn't I hadn't kind of done my uh, brushwork yet. Hello, Mr. Triple. Horns to you, sir. Horns to you. Um, yeah. So this is um, I'm kind of just going through uh, an older piece of work. Uh, my punk, my punk kind of um, painted genre, and yeah, so these I'm pretty sure these were like 
may have been a brush or something that I may have downloaded and then tried to make into typography. I think this was way before, way, way before I started making my own type, which um, on episode 10, I kind of went through how I make my type um, brushes and stuff. So this is a really old version of that. Um, and so that one is really simple, bare bones. It's literally just me playing about with different brush strokes to create the type. And then in the background, I think I just added some paint splats. So that one's really easy. However, if we open Funk up now, if we look at Funk, uh, Funk, 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 Funk number two, 100 meg. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. Uh, 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 uh. Let's load that bad boy up. So this one had a lot more going on in it, a lot more. So. The type itself, I'm pretty sure this is a font I downloaded. I'm pretty damn sure. Um, let's just see. So on here, you can see there's some lens flares. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got some flares. There's lots of paint um, strokes inside the actual type itself. And you can see it's like a layer mask. Um, actually, I might just maximize this so you guys can see. Get rid of the layers, yeah. So there's like a layer mask there. If I remove that, I'm pretty sure I did not invent this typeface. <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure. It looks like I, I think I took a typeface and then I made that into a shape by the looks of things. But what's interesting is the texture. So this texture, so this was I used the warp tool, which I don't think I'd ever used in this way before. So this swirl was actually a texture I made. So this, this is a texture, um, one of the textures that I talked about on episode 10 uh, of the of the live show, uh, where I talked about the brushes I've made. So this is this texture. Uh, I mean, it's quite a, a brushy kind of texture, but the way I had never used it in this way before, usually I'd just been overlaying it in the background. What I did, I did a twirl. Um, and you can see there, and I kind of just started playing about with this twirl filter. You can see the original. And it kind of made this weird kind of psychedelic kind of looking twill. Quite a, a handy little tool if you're after after that kind of vibe. And then I think is there water on top of that? It looks like I've grabbed some like a water texture or something. Yeah, it's like a weird water texture in there. Bring that up. That's bizarre. Now I'm not quite sure what that is from. That could be from anything. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It could be a render or something. I'm not quite sure if I if I made that or if I pulled the texture from somewhere. Who knows? Um, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> What's this? Oh, here we go. So at the start, I was trying to experiment, kind of trying to experiment with brushes and things. Uh, this is actually a brush I downloaded. That's not one of mine. Um, fun little brush that one. Don't really use it very much nowadays. Oh, here we go. So look at this. What's this? <laughs> I think that was me trying to work out what I was doing with this piece. I was trying. I was like, right, I want it to kind of be psychedelic, funky kind of looking thing. And I did some weird vector thing, which looked awful. <laughs> I'm very glad I didn't go with that, man. Oh, I've also got some grid lines here. What on earth was I thinking with that? Trying to do a James White grid lines thing. Yeah, that, that wasn't happening. What's in here? Same thing. Oh, more, more, more paint strokes. Trying to work out if I could do something with paint strokes. It didn't seem to work out. So usually I show you guys previous versions of things, but all the previous versions appear to be kind of in this file. There's no like, I wasn't really iterating my process. I wasn't like saving new versions each time. But that's kind of that's a cool brush. I think that's something I downloaded. I don't think that's one of mine. That's a freaking cool brush. Pretty sure I've used that before somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's free. Uh, what else is there in this file? Don't know if there's much else really. Uh, there's that twirl again. Flares, paint. Yeah, so that's just for the typography. The typography, I think I traced it, and then I, um, I basically put, I did a uh, expand in Illustrator, I think, and then I just put, started applying paint on top of the typography. Nothing particularly, nothing particularly incredible or anything. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, guys, yeah, I thought I'd just kind of step through these two little pro these two little pieces. I haven't done um, 
a roar in quite a while. So I actually prepared this about a week or so ago and then I ended up never getting to it. So I thought I'd just kind of go through it with you guys. Cool, all right. Um, I think, uh, yeah, there's like a gradient background on this, really basic kind of. I, had, I, had to, I think I played around with this gradient quite a bit. Uh, it wasn't until later that I worked out what I was doing. Uh, I think I was gonna do it that color before, before I'd even started. But anyways, okay, so yeah, so that was the, uh, that was raw and that was punk and funk. Because <laughs> they rhyme and that's quite fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I will now get back to uh, the headliner now. I'm literally going to flick back over, and we'll do a little bit, um, a little bit more on our uh, on our thingy. On our thingy. What am I saying? Let me just minimise a bunch of these things that I've opened now because I've opened a ton of apps. I don't want them in the way. Uh, I need to just switch back over to my iPad. I wish I had a quicker way of doing this, but I don't. So let's just flick back over. Hopefully OBS doesn't crash. Uh, struggling, okay, cool. Turn that off. Oh, that's really small. <laughs> Make him bigger. Make the logo bigger, <laughs> as they always say. All right, so yeah, so I started kind of doing some line work on this. Um, yeah, he's kind of getting there slowly but surely. Uh, but I think I'll do a little bit more on him. We've got a, we've got about 20 minutes, half an hour or something. Uh, do a bit more on this. And uh, hey, if you guys have got more requests or something, uh, I can play those. I really am hoping sort of by next week to have this in a better shape and try and get this to be I guess, try and get it to be kind of almost to the point where I'm ready to color him. That's what I want, and I can start coloring him next week. My objective is to kind of get him finished, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after, and have that all done, done and dusted, and then sent off to this band. That's my idea. And actually, I don't know if I, sh if I should send it to the band directly, or if I should post it on Insta and just tag them and tag the guitarist from the band as well. I don't know whether to, I don't know whether to do that, but we'll soon see. What do you guys think? Maybe you guys could advise me. Should I just DM it to them? Or maybe just send it off and post it. All right. I would like to get a new, a new section in there. I've had idea for this awesome section, but I just haven't had the time to kind of put the time in to get it to work. Um, requires a bit more sort of thought and planning. So I really wanna I really wanna do it, but it's kinda like right, I need to actually take the time and learn some something new and actually get it done. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do a bit more of this guys and then we'll do I do a bit of Rock Who as well after this. And hey, who's in the channel actually? Maybe I'll do another giveaway. Maybe they don't want to reveal the Maybe they don't want to reveal the art before the release. Send directly in small resolution. All right, yeah, no worries. But then I feel like I really want to post this on my Insta quite soon. So it's kind of like, <laughs> I'm in two minds. Maybe if they don't show any interest, maybe I will, uh, maybe I will uh, just post it anyway. See how we go. I'll have to replan my uh, content then for the next couple of weeks, if that's the case. Because I have got, I've put this in my calendar as like, post this on Insta. Post later or sooner if they don't mind. Okay, cool. No worries. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll line something up then to post instead of that. Maybe I'll try and finish that chaos piece that I started the other week. Um, if I can't post this straight away. Yeah. Um, Funny thing, I won't post my Scandroid piece anywhere because my accounts are wrestling related. Yeah, that's the thing. It's kind of like, do you do you post things that are necessarily? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's like me kind of doing doing a piece that's not rock related. Do you know what I mean? Do you post it? That's the question. I'm just gonna grab a drink, actually, guys. Because I'm not drinking anything. Quick drink. Oh, 
that's about it. Yeah, it's been warm here, seriously warm. Yeah, so I'm a, a, a couple of a sort of two minds in some ways about some of my work because it's not it's not necessarily rock related and it's like do I post it? I don't know. I'm trying to keep it all all rock related if I can. Uh, but yeah, try and ink this arm. And like I say, I'm trying not to be too too precious about it. I don't want it to be really, really clean. I want it to be a bit more gritty. And I might end up turning the uh, outlines of this project off completely if I'm painting it. I may turn them off or make them very light or subtle, the outlines, to try and make it a bit more painty. Um, we'll see how we go. So if I turn that off, that's the wrong layer. That's the wrong layer. That's the one. For some reason, I've got something in there. Right, okay, I'll erase that. I don't need it. Yeah, even that, like, it's a bit rough, but it's okay. Like, it doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. Yeah, and I really want to get this finished because I don't want to spend... I don't want to spend, like, too long on it and then not really have much feedback. I'd rather just kind of like work on the next one if I don't get anywhere. Or maybe if they don't reply to me or for whatever reason don't want to use it, maybe I'll approach a different a different band and see what happens. Let's see how that goes. It's about five minutes or so, guys, and then I'll uh, we'll get we'll play a little game of Roku. I've got um, I've got some ideas for a few things to draw for you guys. See see how we go with that. Let's see how we do. Uh, stray little thing there. smoother I'm really glad that I put a bit more detail in this piece I feel much more confident with it like I don't feel like oh what am I doing I know I know what I'm doing rather than kind of trying to guess it all that's the thing put the preparation work in whoops put the preparation work in and then much better idea of how, how you're gonna make something. Mm -hmm. All right, it's not so bad. Let's hide that layer. Yeah, it's kind of coming, coming together. Kind of like it. It's not too perfect. So how's your day been, guys? You've been busy? Lots to do, or has it been sort of a quiet day? Been a very uh, warm day today over here in the UK. It has been all week, to be honest with you. For sure. I don't know if it's the same in Europe and America and stuff. It's really warm at the moment, but over here, crazy weather. And this is the ditch digging part of the process, as James would say. Add some more detail into this. I like these little lines I've made. Maybe I'll do those on a separate layer. Kind of, kind of rough. Crazy warm here. You're finding it hard to work, been lazy in the sun. Um, if you're preaching to me, man. Like that's exactly what's happened to me. Like I've been having to work kind of in the evenings because it's cooler. And during the day, like like yesterday, the day before, I can't remember. I think it was yesterday. Yesterday, it may have been yesterday. Went on like a, a five five kilometer 
walk or something like that or a six kilometer walk to park and stuff and then came back and then went to the supermarket and came I mean yeah we were out for a couple of hours so yeah it's been a bit it's been such nice weather but yeah it's been too warm and too nice to stay in that line is a bit it's not rough enough for my liking try and make it a bit less perfect Still haven't heard back on this job. It's kind of annoying me. They said they would let people know this week, but I'm not holding my breath. We will see what happens. Hopefully they will get back in touch with me. It may be a case of maybe I'm overqualified for the role. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, it's for like a gaming, e-gaming, e-sports role. So we'll see what happens with that. I've actually done a fair bit of sports related stuff, so I felt like I was fairly qualified for the role. Uh, sent over my portfolio and stuff. They said they would just be in touch with candidates next week. Well, this week now. And uh, so far, zero. So who knows? Oops. Actually, know what this thing is. I guess it's just thing. All right. Cool. Okay. Well, I think I'll I'll hit pause there for now. Riveting as it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just trying to trace up this guy. Maybe I'll save it for another time. Yeah, not looking too bad. Um, all right, guys. Well, I don't know who's in the chat. Let me check. Who is in the chat? Got Lena, Mr. Triple Revival Knight, and uh, Slow Cool. I'm not quite sure who that is. Uh, don't know where Johannes has gone. I'm guessing he may have like left. <laughs> right, okay. We'll try and play a game of Rock Who, I suppose. I don't know if you guys are up for that. Switch over. Don't know if you guys are around and want to play this. Um, I've done this a couple of times. It's been fun. So uh, let me just load up my reference material. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Said Revival Line. Okay. So I've got a few things I'm going to draw. Uh, we'll start with it. We'll start with the most obscure one first, because I have a feeling maybe, maybe some people won't get this. So let me just load up my thing. Okay, let's get the iPad back up with my new thing. Uh, uh, there we go. All right, so we'll start with the first one. Um, so this is a guitar. I'm going to draw. I'm wondering if you guys are going to get whose guitar it is. It is an iconic guitar, but you may not know who it is because this could be a couple of people. We will see. We will see. So I'll start with the shape. It's a pretty... Uh, pretty well-known shape because in fact it's the same shape as my guitar it is actually a Les Paul so there's the first clue um, but yeah it's quite a he's not necessarily the most famous um, Les Paul guitarist but he is uh, he's quite quite well known in the metal sort of circles I don't know. I know nothing about guitars. Oh, sorry, Lena. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to sit this one out then. So this is the, ma the major clue. I'm going to try and draw this the best I can. I don't know if, if Reviver Knight will know this one. I 
And I think Revive and I may have just got it. Hey. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed you knew that. It is indeed Zach Wild. Zach Wild. And it's um That's that's cool that you got it, because um my pickups are actually his pickups. I'm using his pickups. Um, which is really cool. Okay, so Revive Night, well done for winning that one. Okay, I'm gonna draw the next thing, and this is a famous a famous person. Let's get this drawn in. Let's see if I can draw this. Oh, I'll start in the wrong place. Uh, so this is a famous person. He is in the music industry. Should be quite fun. Shrek. <laughs> it's not Shrek. Hmm. smaller nobody's got it yet ah oh, revive and I it was too good today it is indeed Michael Jackson I'll just finish him up there you go you both got it well done guys <laughs> my best impression a good bit of reference actually there uh, that I was using I was finishing up his hair there we go. And it's funny because I was reading an article about him today. Uh, yeah, I was reading an article about how, how he actually did this kind of pose, this kind of um, try and do that move. <laughs> it's not going to happen, Lena, because basically he has special shoes that were created especially for him. So, so yeah, he's got these special shoes and there was like an article I was reading just then about it. So I thought, hey, actually, it should be flat. It's quite impressive, to be fair, how he how he did it, how he kind of got because his shoes are like completely flat, absolutely completely flat. So I've got no idea how he's managed to do it. Massive shoes there, <laughs> not quite right. Uh, it was Knight's nice request. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, Viber Knight. I thought it was uh, Lena who'd said that. <laughs> no worries. Okay, so. So that is uh, Jacko. Let's try one more person. See if I can uh, get this one doing again. This is another famous person. Let's see if I start it this way. Um, Lena asked for odd stuff 90% of the time. Well, that's the thing, Lena. You see, I expected it to be you. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. I always seem to start in the wrong place because then I have to resize it and move it over here. Thankfully, this is not... This is not a, uh, a drawing because I've been rubbing out quite furiously at this point. <laughs> hmm... Right. That's a bit off. Any guesses so far, guys? Very, very obscure at the moment, so possibly not. Mufasa, nope. Not. Uh, what should I do next? An onion. <laughs> it's not an onion. Oops. Try and get more detail in there. Oops. 
No guesses so far. Well, some guesses, but not the right ones. Okay, I'll try and make it a little bit easier for you guys. Oops. Oh, God. Uh, shade somebody's in. Still no guesses. Okay, here comes the big clue. Let's see if you know it. Marilyn? Nope. Don't know if you guys will know this one. Egyptian Ferret, it is. Yes, Revive and I got it. It is indeed. Eddie from Power Slave. That's the one. Wow, yeah, uh, I thought you guys may have got that a bit sooner. Okay, that's cool. At least uh, at least you guys got it. I'm happy you guys got it because I was thinking, oh crap, is this one that they're not going to get? <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm going to do uh, one more guitar. Again, quite an iconic guitar. And then I'm going to try and find another person because I, I know Lena doesn't know many guitars. So I'm going to try and get... Maybe I should uh, maybe I should save that guitar for another time because it's quite a good guitar. Okay, let me think. Let me see if I can get... Let me see if I can get somebody else. Uh, just trawling through metal bands right now. <laughs> Trying to think of someone... Reasonably iconic. Okay, let's hide this guy. Uh, who could I do? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I've got an idea. Okay. Let's type him in. I'm just typing in to get some reference. The game is not over yet, Lena. Let's see if you guys know this one. This is going to challenge my drawing skills. <laughs> my terrible, terrible sketching skills. I'm so bad at sketching. Uh, it's actually something I wish I was better at. So this is a person. Right now, it just looks like a bunch of bananas. Banana Man. It is not Banana Man. Oh, that is a brilliant guess. Who needs to be at off, eh? Whew, this is far more exciting. <laughs> Can you imagine if I like if somebody did this on stage? Off, oh, be like get trying to get the whole audience guessing. Uh, he has no leg. Well, it's not actually a leg. On, O N N? No. <laughs> Instead of off, yeah, exactly. I know what you're saying, man. Okay. This is so, uh, so off in terms of proportion, man. <laughs> Let's try and, should have got a rough, uh, a rough uh, version of this done to start with. Mercury, nope. It's not Freddie Mercury. That is a very good guess though, actually. Uh, Chester, no, another good guess. That's actually a good one, actually. Maybe I'll do that another time. A couple of good, good, good ideas. Okay, here we go. This is getting some details in. Yeah, it's not Chester. Yeah, let's get this in. Uh, 
Ah, it, it, you're very. Actually, it's funny you say that. Revive and I, Avenged Sevenfold guy, M Shadows. No, it's not. But it's kind of. It kind of does look a bit like him, actually. I was thinking. I actually just thought that, and then you said that. It's quite funny. Okay, so his arm is like way off, but never mind. Um, let's put a bit of the microphone in there. Um, okay, so this is the the major clue now. It's not Kobe Dick. Nope. My best attempt at drawing a, a mouth. <laughs> you guys not got this one yet? Oh boy, I don't know if I'm going to be able to give you guys any more clues. Any more cl any more uh, guesses, guys? Or has my uh, awful drawing uh, <laughs> stumped you? <laughs> He's wearing a leather jacket. He's in uh, one of the... No, it's not Lemmy. We've had Lemmy before. Uh, he's in one of the biggest metal bands of all time. British metal band. Uh, he has a big beard. He's a singer. Uh, I'm wondering what other clues I could give you. Okay, I'll give you another clue. Here's another clue. Okay, so this is let's finish him up there. This may be a really awful clue. <laughs> so this is one word. Can you guess what the word might be? Uh, I'm trying to find, trying to find another word. Two, it's um, uh, the guy has got two names. So there we go, two names. Uh, and this is the name of one of the songs. They do, of the first word. And then uh, this is the second word. Think about it. Must be Rob Halford. It is. Well done, Lena. It is indeed Rob Halford. And uh, yeah, the clue I was trying to give you is breaking the law. <laughs> that was the clue. Yeah, that was the clue I was trying to give you guys. <laughs> I'll show you guys my reference um, quickly. You can see my, my best attempt at uh, doing this. Uh, let me just open this up. Let's drag this across. That was my reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the easiest. Uh... Been Googling since you said British metal band and found the bald guy in this jacket and glasses. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's Rob Halford. Sorry, guys. <laughs> not the easiest one. Let me think. Let me see if I can try and do an easier one. Uh, let's see. Let me flick back to the iPad. It's, it's back on. So that one was a bust because <laughs> nobody knew that one. Uh, let's think. Uh, 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 uh. Try another musician of some sorts. Another musician. I do iconic pop stars and I get a bunch of people I've never never seen before. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Oh man. Okay. Uh... Okay. Maybe we'll try. Maybe we'll try this. Let's try this guy. 
This guy is pretty iconic. Oh wow, it's ten to ten to uh, ten to nine. Wow, man. Okay, this will be the last one, and then we'll wrap up. I think for today. A massive forehead. Potato man. <laughs> Who knows? Any guesses, guys? Quite well known. Well known pop star, rock star. David Bowie, you're correct, Lena. Well done. I hadn't even done his. Uh, his lips are awful. <laughs> Cannot draw lips to save my life. Um, I hadn't even drawn his little bar. Those lips are terrible. Get rid of those straight away. Just do that instead. Uh, and then he looks a bit angry, actually. That is a shocking version of David Bowie. <laughs> And his lightning bolt comes across his face like that. Man. So there we go. That's our little David Bowie. Awful drawing of David Bowie, but all the same. A bit of fun. All the same. All right. And he's got no nose, so I'll just quickly add his nose in. There we go. A work of art. So today, what have we had today? We had Zach Wilde's guitar. Which I can't believe Reviver got because I didn't think anyone was going to get that one. Michael Jackson. Uh, Eddie from. Uh, he looks like Brod Crying. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit. We had Ed Eddie from Iron Maiden, of course, from Power Slave. We had a bit of Rob Halford, and we had some real issues trying to work this one out because uh, my illustration of Rob Halford is awful. <laughs> And then we had a bit of uh, Blood Cry slash David Bowie vibes going on, which is, again, very, very uh, crazy rough version of Bowie. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. So that's been uh, Rock Who. So I'm going to see if there's any more requests, guys. If there's not any more requests, then I think we will call it a day. Uh... Illustration of Rob was great. I just don't know the person. <laughs> All right, then. Cheers, Lena. I appreciate it. Let me just see if there's any more requests, but I don't think there are. For today... Uh, no more requests. So I'll just do um, I'll just do a bit of impro, guys. A little bit of improvisation, and then we'll get into a Reviver Nights uh, little stream, which will be fun. So let me just put my flames back on and get the camera going back to the right thing. I'll just get my guitar. All right, that's massive. That's too big. Zoom that back in. Right, I'll just turn off the stuff at the top. Get the guitar back on. Uh, let me check if that's working all right. Let's see. Yep, cool. All right, so a little bit of impro to end the stream. And then, hey, uh, we should all head over to Revive a Night's stream, because that would be awesome. So, let me just make sure I've got this right. I'm sure I do. 
Nailed his hairstyle. Oh, cheers, Lena. <laughs> Wasn't so bad, considering. Bowie's he's quite hard to draw, because he's quite androgynous. Anyways, a uh, bit of impro to end the stream, and then let's all head over to Revive a Night stream. So that was our encore for today. I didn't even pull up the slide, but never mind, eh? <laughs> no worries. Cool. Well, thanks very much for hanging out, guys. Uh, cheers for that. Thanks very much. Uh, so that's our show for today. Uh, nice little two-hour-long little show. Um, enjoyed playing some uh, riffs and stuff and showing you guys some of the uh, uh, conferences and stuff I've been to, meeting signal noise and stuff. Awesome guy. Uh, yeah, so basically, I'm going to switch over to our little, uh, last little slide. So, yeah, so next Wednesday will be the next show, uh, 30th of May. I can't believe it's nearly June already. It's crazy. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a bunch of new things to talk about. I'm hoping to maybe even have a new section by then. So that would be awesome. I'm away this weekend, so there's no show on Monday. I would rather do another show on, uh, on, uh, Wednesday next week. So yeah, guys, thanks very much for hanging out. Uh, like I say, I really appreciate it. I know you guys are busy, so I really appreciate it. So yeah, let's go and watch Revival Night's stream now. So yeah, rock on, guys. Take care. <laughs>